What do you love the most? What is it in your life that you love the most? Thanks for joining me, Songs for the Summer. We're in Psalms chapter 27, chapter 26. King David reveals and tells us what he loves the most. What is it that you seek in your life more than anything else? King Saul was focused on power and position. He would do anything to keep and sustain that power of being king. He even would go so far to compromise his relationship with God. The Bible tells us that Samson lived a life where he sought all the beautiful women. <laughs> Wherever he went, he was always had an eye for the ladies. And he also seemed to like to disobey God. The very things he knew not to do, he did them. He was always playing games and playing with riddles, seeing how far he could go until he lost everything. And that's what happened to King Saul. He lost everything. They were seeking power and position and personal pleasure. When we come to Psalms chapter 26 and 27, we discover the heart of David and the reason why, perhaps that King David was the apple of God's eye. I must seek the sanctuary of the Lord. I must worship. I wanna be at the altar. I want to dwell and live inside the sanctuary all the days of my life. Wow, what a different personality than Samson or Saul. We do those things we like the most. We're compelled and make decisions on those things that we truly love. And that's revealed in the life of King David. David sought the altar, sought the sanctuary, and read this very carefully. He wanted to be in the presence of Almighty God. The path of the sanctuary, the temple, the tabernacle, the path to the altar, it was all about being in the presence of God. And he would sing and worship, and his heart would be filled with joy there was a peace that came all over him, oh, to be in the presence of God. The Bible says, thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Father God, I thank you for the sanctuary. I thank you that the Bible says, forsake not the assembly of the brethren, but to come together. I thank you that the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Today, Lord, in every thought I have, every step I take, every act that I decide to move forward with, may it be based upon worshiping you, being in your presence and seeking your face. Bless this day as we fill our hearts with songs for the summer in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.